Hey guys, my name is Shahira and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. For today's video, I thought I would give you my top 10 tips on growing your TikTok. I am absolutely addicted to TikTok. I love it so much. Some people think it's cringy. That's totally fine with me. I am cringe. I love a bit of cringe. I think everyone should be cringe. Life is too short. Live a little. Don't take yourself too seriously. Um, TikTok is such a fun app and it's so addictive. What I love about it is I'm never bored anymore, like literally never bored, because if I am bored, I'll go and I'll make a TikTok and that like entertains myself. So um, boredom doesn't exist in my life since I met TikTok. Um, anyway, I downloaded the app in December. So it's the beginning of March now. And um, I had no clue how to use it. I really didn't use it at all. I posted like one video that I just had on my phone anyway. It wasn't a specific TikTok video. It was just a random video I had posted on Instagram months prior. And I just uploaded it to TikTok thinking TikTok was just like a random video app. I didn't realize there was like trends or anything like that um, or specific like TikTok. I didn't know what TikTok is. So I just uploaded a random video. So I really didn't get into it in December when I first downloaded it. And I only downloaded it because my mom said to me, you should download TikTok. It's all the rage now. Da, da, da. So thanks mom um, for my new addiction. Then in January was when I really started getting into it, actually watching videos on the Explore page, which is the For You page, and actually finding out what TikTok is and properly getting into it. Um, so at the beginning of January, I had under 5,000 followers. And I know that because I posted a, t a particular TikTok, which was about having less than 5,000 followers. So I know that for sure. So now I have 100, this morning I hit 100,000. And today I will have 100, or this evening I have 100 and 101,000. And so I've grown 1,000 in the day. Now I know some people would have grown way quicker than me. I'm not saying I've grown the fastest or anything like that. There's people who grow like millions and millions, like it's that type of platform. But I still think 100,000 in the amount of time that I've really been on it, which has been seriously like a month, actually consistently posting videos and stuff. Um, I think that's quite good. So I thought I would tell you my top 10 tips that I have um, figured out along the way as to how you grow your TikTok. So if you appreciate this video and you're on TikTok or you've just downloaded the app, and um, then make sure to give me a follow and leave a comment that you found this video on YouTube and came to my TikTok and I'll go back and hype up some of your videos as well and we can help each other out. The first thing I want to address is this whole thing about having a niche. Um, I see so many videos going around on TikTok, like how to be popular on TikTok, how to gain 10,000 followers, 1,000 followers, whatever it might be. And they always say, number one, pick a niche and stick to it. Whether it's fashion, makeup, comedy, whatever, lip syncing, transitions, whatever type of TikToks you want to do and stick to it. And I've always not agreed with that. I think that we are human and we're complex and we have many different interests. So why not just post whatever you feel like and whatever you're interested in? Because TikTok is a fun platform. It's not the same as Instagram where it needs to be curated and perfect. TikTok is not a perfect platform. And actually the people who do well are not perfect human beings. They're people who are relatable um, and who people find funny and that, that type of thing. They're the people who do really well on TikTok. It's not the same as Instagram. So I don't, I've never agreed with this, this niche idea because I also think that you're just limiting your, your audience um, to people who only like makeup or only like comedy or only like fashion uh, videos. Whereas why wouldn't you want to have the biggest audience possible that likes like some people like your uh, follow you because they like your makeup videos. Some people follow you because they like your comedy videos, etc., etc. Now this is debatable. Some people won't agree with me on it, but one person whose opinion I really value is Gary V. Um, you probably know who he is, but if you don't, he makes like marketing uh, videos and inspirational videos. And uh, he talks about TikTok a lot. And he actually has said this about the niche. He says he doesn't think that you should narrow yourself and narrow your audience to having one particular niche. And when he said that, I was like, hallelujah, somebody thinks it because I've always thought that, but I see all these videos saying, no, you need a special niche and you need to stick with your niche. And I just don't think that that's the case. And um, I think that that might be the case for Instagram for having a perfect looking feed and you know everything else. But 
I'm over the perfect feed on Instagram, to be honest. That's why I've even started posting some of my TikToks on my Instagram. I'm sick of trying to make it look a certain way. I'm just going to be me and I just want to show my personality and whoever wants to follow will follow and whoever, whoever doesn't won't. And that's absolutely fine. And so, yeah, that's my number one thing is I don't think that you need a niche and that's debatable. Maybe you might want one or maybe you might want, to, if you want a specific type of audience and that's the audience you want, that's absolutely fine. But if you want a really wide audience, like say you have a business and you're like trying to promote just the, that that type of thing, whatever your business is about in order, order to get customers, I understand that. But if you're an individual trying to grow yourself as just a person and your brand, then just be relatable and post whatever is um, of interest to you. Uh, Lauren Gray, who has like, I think she has the most followers on the platform. She has like 40 million or close to that. And she seems to post a bit of everything. So I would go with that. Just don't narrow yourself to a niche. Just do whatever you feel is fun and whatever you're vibing with that day. The next thing I would say is definitely post often. Post every day, if not multiple videos a day. Just post as much as you can. And the videos don't have to be perfect. Again, these are just relatable, fun videos. And sometimes the videos that you don't think are the best will do much. For example, I the other day I posted a couple of videos within the day. Um, and the last video, I some of them I thought about, I did a few times and then the very, very last video that I took at like 2 a.m. in the morning when I was about to go to sleep. With that video, I really put no thought into, I shot it once and it was the last video of the evening that I shot or of the night that I decided to randomly shoot. And that did better than all the videos I, I posted that day. That one got like, I don't know, 50, 60,000 views. Um, so yes, just, just put out content. The ones that you think will do well, probably won't. And the ones that you thought, nah, they won't do well, Will. So just throw content at the platform and see what sticks. My other theory is that hasn't been talked about and hasn't been proven or disproven. So I could be totally wrong, but something I've noticed, and I think it would be very clever of TikTok if this was the case. And that is post often and then take a break for like a day or two days. Because I have a theory that TikTok want to keep everyone active on the app. And I think that if they can tell that you haven't, that you were posting a lot, but now you, why isn't she posting? I think they'll, pu they'll push some of your older videos out to the For You page so that you see, oh, my videos are getting a lot of views. I'll come back. The For You page, by the way, is like the Explore page of um, like Instagram, but it's on tic of the TikTok version of the Explore page. Um, and I think then you'll come back. So I think that's something that they might do is if you're posting often and then you take a break, they might freak out a little bit that you've taken a break and try to get you back on the platform by pushing out some of your videos um, to a bigger audience. So I don't know if that's true or false. I have no idea, but it's just something that I noticed. So try that. The next thing I would say, and I saw again, Gary V say this, is reply to your comments, especially earlier, early on. If you're getting two comments, five comments, 17 comments, 20 comments, whatever it might be, reply to every one of them, even if they seem weird which you might get a lot of weird comments. I get weird comments, but I'll just reply thank you or an emoji or thanks for stopping by or something. Same if anyone duets my video or if they they tag me in any anything, unless it's like offensive or it's a troll or something mean, then I won't reply. But if it's in any way um, nice, even if it's weird or if they look a bit weird, I will reply. Um, because not only does it keep them interested in your feed, but it actually helps you. Because say if you reply to 20 comments, your uh, video now has 40 comments, including your replies. And that t triggers the um, TikTok algorithm and will push your video out to more people on the For You page once again. So it's um, as much for your benefit as it is for them. And also sometimes they just like to get a reply and it'll make them happy and also just make your video do well. So yeah, unless you're Charlie D'Amelio with your, you know, 33 million followers or something and it's impossible to get back to all the comments, then that's fine. But if you have a, a any way size platform where you are able to get back to your comments, then do. Um, and even if you had like a huge platform, still pick a few comments and get back to them because it just makes your audience that much more invested and engaged with you and your videos. 
My next tip is to use uh, relevant hashtags and keep them short. So think about what people are actually going to search for in hashtag um, use. They're not going to put in a full sentence to like as a hashtag and search for that. They're just not. So if it's a fitness video, hashtag fitness, hashtag abs, ha hashtag workout. Um, and then there's trending hashtags. So you could add like one trending hashtag that might have nothing to do with your video. That's fine. But don't put a lo all the trending hashtags just because they're trending, but they have nothing to do with your video. Your video is about fashion, but like, um, I don't know, random kids songs is trending. A new hashtag, random kids songs, but your video is about fashion. That makes no sense. And also they, the TikTok algorithm will know Oh, this is a fashion video so we'll put it out to the people who like fa who generally like fashion videos and i'll throw it out to those people so make sure the hashtags that you use on your uh, videos are relevant and short um to what your video content is actually about and then if you want to just add one of the trending hashtags at the end that's fine but the more important is relative or is relevant hashtags on your videos now, another super important thing on TikTok is to use the recommended or the trending sounds. This will make a huge difference to your video. Now, yeah, you can do your own original sound and hope that it goes viral or it does well and it can happen for people and that's great. But an easier way is to use the, the trending um, popular sounds. The reason for this is because record labels pay TikTok to push sounds out. So then TikTok will prefer your video that's using that sound because they're getting paid by record labels to get this song popular. If you're using this song, they're going to push your video more because they want that sound to be popular because they want to impress the record label who's paying them for essentially advertising. So make sure that you use uh, either songs that are recommended specifically for your video or the trending um, sounds and that will really help your video a lot. The next thing is if you're new to TikTok or you're just trying to find out what is TikTok all about, what am I supposed to post here, just spend some time watching the For You page. When you first join TikTok, spend it like a week, just don't post anything, just watch the For You page and see what, what is TikTok, what's it all about, what kind of videos are popular on the app and then you get ideas for your own type of video. So yeah, just sense out the app first and see what's popular. And the way to do that is basically just by watching your For You page and by following a couple of people who you think have cool videos. My next tip is if you jump on a particular trend that's popular at the moment, then change. And you can see that on, on the TikTok app, what tr what's trending. Jump on the trend, but then slightly adjust it. So for example, my second first or second video to go semi-viral it has like three hundred thousand views um was a kim kardashian video where she's saying something people don't know about me is that i'm a really good cook and i love to cook this is going viral people are doing funny things like um i saw somebody do it and then put a toaster into the microwave or whatever it might be so i was watching that trend and i thought what can i do here but make it a little bit different so I did, I dressed as Kim Kardashian and I did um, something people don't know about me is I'm a really good cook. I love to cook. And I got Louis Vuittons, took them out of the oven, put them on burnt toast. It's just r random. And I was like, I love to cook. I only eat designer. It was like a Louis Vuitton on the toast. It was just a random thought um, and that I put into the video. And that was my first video that went semi-viral, like I said, with the 300 thousand views so just take what's trending and then change it if i had gone and also put the toaster into the microwave like that other popular video had done um then my video wouldn't have done well because people have already seen that you need to do it but but change it the next thing is just obvious but good lighting um either use a ring light um i use makeup mirror lights or you can um use like just outdoors or a big window and that would be fine natural lighting is fine as well but if your video is too dark or is grainy or anything tiktok is not likely to post it or to push it out to people because they don't know what's on it and that's dangerous for them because obviously they don't want people posting anything illegal or weird videos or anything on the platform so if they can't tell what's in your video clearly then they won't risk pushing it to an audience so make sure your lighting is good so it's obvious as to what your video is about and tiktok and um, the app can sense what what's what's in your video another tip i have is to comment on popular videos with a popular opinion um so for example i found a video that was this guy recommending a mouthwash 
and I asked, um, does this make your teeth sensitive? Because that's probably something that everybody is thinking. And my comment got lots of hearts, um, which is lots of likes, which means some of those people might have then clicked on my name and come over because they meant they want to know that question too. They want to know, does this mouthwash make your teeth sensitive or whatever it might be. And then some of those people may or may not have clicked on my name and then came to my profile and then discovered my videos. So interact with other people's videos and comment on them, especially if you think your opinion is a popular one and that people will agree with and therefore press thumbs up or like, give a heart and then might discover your page. And the last thing is just have fun and be yourself and post whatever the hell you want. And honestly, don't overthink it. Don't over curate it. And um, people just don't like that on this platform. It's such a different platform. It's nothing like Instagram. Um, and I just think you need to just be your authentic self and, and just have as much fun as possible and don't worry or overthink it at all. And also don't delete your old videos um, if they don't do well, because sometimes there can be a delayed Onset, onset effect. So with another video I did, at first I posted it, it had a couple of thousand views, but other videos I had posted had more views than it. And I actually remember, it had been like days or even weeks, it had been some time since I'd posted it. And I um, actually remember looking at it and I thought to myself, oh, that's a shame. I think that video deserved to do better. I think it's quite a decent video. It should have more views than that. And I forgot, forgot about it and continued posting. And now that video has over 2 million views. So there was just a delayed effect with the TikTok algorithm and whatever happened, um, the video got popular after, like a, quite a long time after I had posted it. So don't delete your videos just because you think they're not doing very well on, on views. And also when you get one video go viral, more of your videos will start to go viral because TikTok then thinks, oh, this person's a popular creator. They're, this video got 2 million views or however many. Another video of mine has 10 million views. So, and then they'll post, they'll start pushing your other videos, the, the views across the board start going up. Um, so just have fun, don't overthink it, post often, comment on people's pictures or, or other people's videos, not pictures, sorry. Um, interact with your audience, reply to your um, followers. And yeah, that's it really. Just have a lot of fun doing it. If you've appreciated this video and you found it in any way helpful and you're on the TikTok platform or you're gonna download it, then please make sure to follow me. I would really appreciate it, as I said already. Um, if you leave a comment on my TikTok, letting me know you came from the YouTube video, I will go on your uh, TikTok and hype up some of your videos so that we can help each other out. I'm still trying to reach 100,000 on Instagram. This is the annoying thing. Years on Instagram, not at 100,000 yet. A month or so, month, two months on, on TikTok, over 100,000. It's just a better platform in terms of growing. And um, yeah, if you watch this video or you follow me on TikTok, go follow my Instagram too and help me out. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you guys in my next video.